Breaking Records Radio, you know what it is, your man Maloney hitting you guys with some more daily news. So uh, today what we gotta hit you with is Pusha T speaks on his verse on that didn't make the Maybach Music 6. And uh, this is an article reported by Complex, and the article reads as following. Rick Ross had continuously teased Maybach Music 6 in the lead up to Port of Miami 2, in, in dictating that he would bring former foes Lil Wayne and Pusha T together on the track. When the song finally made its way out, Pusha's verse was notably absent. While his verse was in fact cleared before the song was released, Rose recently explained he didn't think the timing was right and he wanted to bring them together more organically. While well, Pusha didn't specifically mention the specific verse by name when he called in for the most recent episode of the Joe Budden podcast, he did allude to why he possibly took shots with his unreleased verse on the track. Why did you do that to this verse that's not out? Budden asked him at 45 minutes into the episode. That's what we wanted. Oh my God, I always do this. Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> That's what we in it for, man. We here to rap, bro, he replied. We all have to do what we do best. The next guy gotta do what he does best, he continued. At this stage of my career, you know I mean, hey man, hey, he joked. On the verse, which was since which has since surfaced online since. Push a rap, what a hell of a year, true colors exposed. Clowns on these clowns, it's like Crowns on these clowns, it's like you colored their nose. He hasn't clarified whether these lines are a reference to Drake, who he famously beefed with last year. Sit back and let them draw their own conclusions. A picture's worth a thousand words, Mr. Houston. You wonder why cocaine's up in every song when my music failed, cocaine right at every wrong. Keeping things typically vague, Pusher refused to explain the unreleased verse further. He says so much right now without saying a word, Button concluded. Rose said that the song was all set to go until he personally had to change a heart about the collaboration. What's so dope about it is that both verses were cleared from both parties, but like I said, it was more about bigger picture. He said, is this gonna move them two getting together closer? I'm gonna take, <clears throat> I'm gonna take the charge for that. I didn't feel like this was the time. So anyways, you guys let us know what you think. Do you wish uh, Ross would have just put the song out with Pusha on it? Or do you respect that he just did it with um, it was just Wayne's verse? You know, I was watching MREC TV today too, and he, he, conclu he his conclusion, he thinks that uh, he got a call from Wayne Wayne when Wayne wasn't impressed, and that uh, that's why Ross chose to go with the Wayne verse over the Pusha verse. I'm just sipping my tea watching, you know what I'm saying? But you guys let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell so you're always notified when we drop new videos. We got lots of daily news videos coming for you guys every day. We got the Toronto Talks podcast, No Condom podcast, plus the Breaking Records radio interviews. We got interviews with Hosh G coming up right now from the UMCs. Uh, Razkaz interview just went out. Cool G Rap interview just went out. We got clips from our MC Shan interview coming out. Uh, Master Ace interview. Tons of great content for you guys, for you hip-hop heads. So make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell. It's your man Maloney signing out. Peace.